So I'll show you how to make um, gomfrina tea. Uh, we'll try with uh, fresh flowers and one with the dried flowers that I saved from last year. These flowers are very healthy. They have a lot of uh, health benefits. I'll show you how to make uh, gomfrina tea. Okay. Boil some uh, hot water and uh, let's pour here. So let's put these. Uh, you know, I washed these right before. Let's put these are the fresh flowers I got from uh, the garden. Take some uh, dried flowers from last year, just uh, rinse them, wash with uh, water, cold water, and just take a um, a glass of cold water should be fine. You can try warm water, it's fine. But I tried both ways. I like the regular uh, room temperature water. You just put them in the water and leave it for a couple of hours. You can, after five, six hours, you can have some of it. These are, I already washed them. These are uh, dried flowers from last year. Okay, let's put these also there. In one glass, I put fresh flowers. In the other glass, I put the dried flowers. We have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes, or we can leave it for 30 minutes. It's fine. The longer, the better, I think. Um, I'll show you once it's done how it looks and how, you know, I'll taste and tell you how it tastes. This is my first time I'm doing it. Um, and uh, we have to make sure, since we're going to use these to make tea or not, we have to use organic soil, which I haven't done this year, but uh, maybe next year or this year I'll get another pot with um, filled with organic soil and grow them again. That way I can use uh, organic flowers, right? Uh, which is more healthy, right? See, I soaked for uh, 30 minutes and look at the fresh flowers. It's more like um, uh, purple uh, tinge it has. It looks so nice. It's beautiful, right? Nice color in it. And these dried flowers didn't give much color, but I'm sure it has the same, like, you know, health benefits. Let's try the this one first. Hmm. It tastes good. It didn't have any strong taste. Um, let me try one more time. Look at that. It has very mild uh, taste, but it's good. I can't even tell much. Let's try this one. Both are good. I didn't taste anything strong in there. I didn't re do research until now that these are so good for you. It has amazing health benefits. I might... Uh, Try to have this maybe at least once a week. You know, you can soak for longer. It's I think it's good to have now. Or like sometimes uh, maybe I'll leave overnight and drink in the morning. I'll put all the information on how good uh, these flowers are for you. All the health benefits. I'll um, include some um, links on it. You can read. And you should definitely have these flowers in your garden. They last long and they never lose their color. Even if it's uh, dry, see, they still look nice color, right? So everybody should have these in their garden. It looks so beautiful. And make sure you grow them in an organic soil uh, so that way you can use them. They can be edible, right? I just transferred this to a bigger glass. And I was using them for almost uh, five days. I was leaving overnight. So I was just uh, drinking uh, overnight and adding more water to them. And this is the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, and uh, fifth day. This is how they all look. At the end, you know, it stopped uh, getting any more color. So then I just discarded them.
so i hope um, you all tried this and uh, if you all like it please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye